day as a fighter pilot was quite a doozy. Being able to experience the rush of real live dog fighting is something I'll never forget. This isn't for everybody. Uh, but then the people that, that enjoy it, I don't know if there's anything quite like it. There is no video game, roller coaster, or thrill imaginable that compares to flying in an actual fighter plane and maneuvering it to outgun your opponent, as Fresno resident Patrick Ruth experienced. The biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had in my life. If you're not used to it, it's some pretty wicked experience. Air Combat USA is a civilian combat program where anyone can be a fighter pilot for a day with no training required. Every plane has an experienced pilot flying with a novice like me. The pilot sits you down for an hour-long pre-flight briefing on the ground to explain everything you'll experience in the air. And if you're doing it correctly, you won't even know you're upside down. If your eyes are focused on Daryl, you may be looking at straight up out of the top of your canopy like this, but the whole backdrop is water. If you're focused on him, you're not, your mind didn't say, oh my God, I'm upside down, there's water down there. And you're going to be chasing each other in a pretty, pretty bizarre way. It's the most extravagant game of tag I've ever played. A little bit more, a little bit more. Roll out, roll out. Had a girl, had a girl. Watch him out there. Had a girl. Okay, not yet. You don't have him yet. Once we get in the air, we have a practice session where we try out our low and high yo-yos. Not the kid's toy, but a maneuver to get in close to our enemy's plane. And we get some quality time on the stick learning that the plane is very responsive to the slightest movement. The planes can outperform the human being that's flying. That's for sure. My plane definitely got the best of me. And I got very acquainted with my barf bag. Once it goes, you're kind of gone. You know, and you kept coming back. And that, that's pretty gritty. Feeling the plane move with the slightest turn of my wrist was exhilarating and nauseating. But the strangest feeling was when we hit 5Gs and I blacked out. I'm blacking out. Okay. I could feel that I was passing out, and like a barn door closing, blackness closed in from my periphery until I couldn't see. But then as we looped around, I came right back. Yeah, she blacked out, but she's back at this. Unfortunately, I had lost sight of my enemy. If you lose sight, you're going to lose the dogfight. Okay, just uh, smile and grin for the cameras, because uh, right now he's going to shoot you. I did lose that one, but we got another chance flying four separate engagements before my body just couldn't take any more. You just went up and saw an environment that fighter pilots live in, and uh, now you can kind of identify with it a little bit. When you see these guys come back from a, from a cruise or from a, you know, Iraq, uh, you kind of understand what they're doing. And I have a new respect for the training pilots have to endure. It was surreal to look up and see the ocean, to go from feeling weightless to feeling like I weighed a 1,000 pounds and having the plane shake when I tried to push it too hard. It was amazing. It was the best gift I've ever had. It was amazing that he had control of that airplane. And then to hear when I heard the pilot say, Pat, I got it. I got the plane. We're in a spin. It's just like, oh my gosh, you know, for him to be able to experience that. Very exciting. At Air Combat USA, they say only about 10% get sick. Well, I always liked being different. And I definitely enjoyed my experience as a fighter pilot.